I mean, seeing how the other half lives aspect of the film. <laughs> I, I've seen all aspects of Comic Con today. It's been very cool. Which is most intimidating for you out there? The 7,500 people in the audience is uh, slightly intimidating. That's for sure. Were you standing in the back as the Flash pilot was playing and hearing their reaction to what was going on? Grant and I were sitting in the audience. That's really cool. Dangerous. <laughs> oh, we went out when the lights went down. Okay. What are people gonna do? Are they gonna kill us? <laughs> this isn't Game of Thrones. Well, there okay? was. There this was, is like, there's not. There aren't mobs. There was a stabbing in Hall H a couple years ago. There was ago. a stabbing in <laughs> Hall H. What panel? <laughs> I it was one of the movie ones. ones. But it was there was aggressiveness in the line. Jesus. People get worse. Well, it's uh it, it was it was uh pardon the expression, but it was really cool breaking my uh popping my Hall H cherry. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so what is what has this whole experience this year been like sort of compared to the last two? Because the show has sort of picked up. They've been they've been the three very different experiences. Uh, two thousand twelve was a, a you know, show, screening our pilot. You could sort of sense a trepidation from the fan base and then last year it was like you guys you guys had a good first season this is cool this is great and then this year has just been the love the gratitude the appreciation all of that stuff has been really evident and it's I gotta say it's super rewarding like it's just amazing to see I'm 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 so grateful that you know we have this opportunity because shooting our shows really hard and to come and get the love that we've gotten today, I mean, that, that, that makes the long nights, you know, in the rain and the cold totally, totally workable. Totally. I feel like there were several Queen Arrows on the floor. Big time, yeah, I saw a bunch. I saw a bunch. Yeah, I, I actually ran into a really uh, cool guy named Mark uh, who got in touch with me on my Facebook page. He was dressed as Green Arrow, and he's deploying on Friday. And he, and he gave me a really cool pin, and uh, yeah, it was cool. Like, just seeing people dressed up as your character. <coughs> I met Orlando Bloom. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. Colton met Elijah Wood and freaked out. Um, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's been fantastic. Well, I mean, since there are so many DC properties on the air right now, and a lot of these people are experiencing their first con, have you given them any kind of advice on how to navigate this very passionate fan base? I don't, um, I'm not an, I'm not an advice guy. I'm there if people ask. But, you know, that, that's a, a very common question so far has been like, you know, what are you going to tell Grant? I'm not going to tell Grant anything. Grant's super <laughs> smart and capable and a very good actor. He has Jesse Martin and Tom Cavanaugh and a great executive team that have have been through the cycle of a first season on a superhero show. Um, the Flash has different demands, so if Grant wants advice, I'd be happy to listen and try to help him. But I'm not going to be like, listen, youngster, this is how things go. That's not my style. Well, but there you were out on the stage, you know, arm around him, older brother, younger brother style. So. Well, I love Grant, and I want him to be successful. I want Flash to be more successful than Arrow. Uh, we'll always be first, <laughs> which makes us the best by default. But I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for him. Now, one of the things I like about your cameo in the Flash pilot is that it's sort of a lighter. Era. Yeah, I mean, you're sort of wisecracking. Is that fun to do for a couple minutes at a time? Would you want to do it for 44 minutes? I, listen, um, w w one of my one of the only drawbacks for me in season two was once Slade appears in episode 14, Oliver basically doesn't crack a smile for the remainder of the season. Okay, that's taxing on me personally. I'm a happy guy. I smile. I want to joke, and uh, you know. Being in that Flash universe and being a little bit lighter and a little bit funner, uh, more fun, excuse me. Um, oh no, continue, hey, as if I'm not even here. That's, <laughs> that's, that's really cool. Um, and uh, yeah, Grant brings that out in me, which is, which is cool. You mentioned that you're hoping to bring out the humor and sarcasm and stuff in Oliver. Is that going to be something that, that we're going to see? Something? Yeah, we see, it a little bit in the, we see it a little bit in the first episode, but um, I, I feel like after the first episode, it's going to take a little bit of time to get back to the humor and the fun. Uh, because, as we know, we, we find ourselves in season three in a very good spot, which means that a cataclysmic catastrophe is right around the corner. 
and that sours all over a little bit. And so that's coming quick, you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> Scorsese style.